When building a node project, it is important to understand the basic steps of adding and using resources. This short video uses Node and PNPM to demonstrate building a simple application. Node and PNPM are already installed and a project folder has been created. Open the project folder in VS Code. In a terminal window, type PNPM init, then enter. This will create the project and create a package.json file. This file acts as a manifest of all resources needed for the project and how the project will operate. Opening the file, we will make a simple change, indicating that the main file of the project will be server.js. For beginners, I believe that this name is more meaningful to understand that this is where the node project is configured and its operation defined. It becomes the application server, software, not hardware. Next, we'll add a package named Express. Express makes much of the common work of an application server easier to implement. In the terminal, type pnpm add Express, then press Enter. Wait for Express to be installed. You'll notice that a new Node Modules folder is added to the project. This is where all packages reside, and this folder should not be edited or changed in any way. Open the package.json file and you will see Express and its version number listed as a dependency. This means that the project depends on Express to operate. Now add a new file and name it server.js. As explained earlier, this file describes the operation of the application being built. It is always helpful to add clear comments to help organize this and any file. Add the code shown. Pause the video while doing so. When done, we'll explain each part. All done? Good. Let's briefly describe what each element does. There is a simple concept of you have to have it before you can use it. This is why at the top of the document, Express is required. There is an alternative syntax where it can be imported, but both do the same thing. With Express available, it is used to create an app, short for application, variable. This variable is now our local way of accessing all of the Express functionality. Next, the name and port numbers of the application are defined. Finally, the application is told to listen for incoming traffic. Remember, this is our server. It waits for browser traffic to contact it. Save the file, and then let's start it up and do a quick test. In the VS Code terminal, type node space server.js, then press Enter. This tells Node to run the server.js file, thus starting our application. Now, in a browser, change the URL to localhost colon 3000. Press Enter. This sends a GET request to the application. It, in turn, sends a reply. The reply tells us that it received the request but cannot do anything with it. Let's stop the server and fix this. Then we'll test again. In the terminal, type Control c then press Enter. Returning to the server.js file, let's add the comment and route with its handler and function as shown. Placement here is important, so pay close attention. Pause the video as needed. This line of code uses our Express application to watch for a GET request, which has a path of forward slash. This means that no specific item has been requested. It is a request made just to the application generally. If such a request is received, a function will execute. This function has access to the request object and response object, meaning incoming request traffic from the browser and outgoing response traffic from the application to the browser. Using the response, we will send the welcome home message. Save the file and once again start the application in the terminal by typing node space server.js and then press enter. Return to the Browser tab where the error was displayed 
and reload. This time, you should see the message that was sent from the application. You have successfully created a basic Node Express application. Be sure to return to the terminal in VS Code and stop the server with Control plus C. Congratulations on building your first application.